We are live from the quarantine and it is Saturday morning and we have a very exciting uh, atomic for you. Uh, it looks like maybe Sarah's not here because we're not doing a Tabata. She loves those Tabatas. So we have votes for Tabatas, which I adore, as I have mentioned over and over again. But today we're going to do an atomic. So I have uh, Chris here with me to work out and I'm super happy about that. Um, let's see, for today, um, it, it's pretty much all body weight, um, but if you wanted to use a goblet for squats, you can. Uh, dumbbell or kettlebell, that's totally fine. Um, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing a series of three exercises in a minute. The rest of the minute is yours to rest, and we're gonna be doing that for 10 minutes. So you can get, you could get heavy with it if you wanted to. Um, if you feel, if you up, feel up to it uh, uh, this morning, that's great. But what we're trying to do is optimize our rest with this. So we're trying to get at least 25 uh, to 15 seconds of rest um, at the end of every minute before we start again. So story of the day is about Diane N N Nida. And um, she was a uh, long distance swimmer uh, back in the 70s. She was a world record setting uh, 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 long distance swimmer. She swam around uh, Manhattan Island. She also swam from the Bahamas to Florida. Um, and then uh, she became a, um, a sportscaster, um, a sports reporter for a bunch of different um, networks. And then 30 years after she set all those records, when she was 61, she um, decided to uh, try again. And uh, she wanted to go from Cuba to Florida, which uh, runs about 103 to 110 miles, um, also depending upon uh, ocean currents and how much it pushes you back and stuff. But she wanted to do that swim cage free, so shark cage free. And the first time she did it in uh, 2011, she made it about 42 hours into her swim, but was so attacked by jellyfish that, uh, that she had to give up and um, be uh, taken into to, um, healthcare. Um, and then uh, the next year she tried it again. This time she had a special jellyfish proof suit. It was a nylon suit and it worked really, really well. Um, um, but uh, the, there was so much against her at this point. There was these incredible lightning storms happening over the ocean. There were sharks just circling beneath her and the jellyfish were just stinging at her mouth because that was the, um, the only place where the nylon suiting wasn't, wasn't so that she could breathe. And they were just going after her. So about 42 hours in, uh, or actually 51 hours in, um, she had to be taken to, um, to the hospital again. A year later, she tries again. And um, this time uh, she made it, it was uh, 103 miles from, uh, or 110 miles, I think, with the ocean currents, um, from Cuba to Florida. Um, she emerged victorious. She gets out of the ocean, walks to shore, and says three things to the uh, newscasters. And um, the one is, never give up. The second one is you're never too old to reach your goals because she was, I think, 63 at this point. And number three, even if you think that uh, long distance swimming is solitary, it is not. It relies on a team. She collapsed. They ran her to the hospital to fill her full of fluids and uh, take care of um, all of her other exhaustion issues. But she prevailed. She won. Um, and uh, she kept trying. And the, 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 um, the times that she didn't make it just gave her more impetus to keep keep on trying. So um, I love these inspirational stories. Uh, these feats of what humans are capable of is just amazing. And um, anyway, we're, gonna, we're about to see what we're capable of. Yeah, yeah, let's see what we can do with this workout today. Stila, it's so good to see you. Yay, hi, all right. So guys, we are going to start standing Let's start standing and we're gonna do some um, big, huge so shoulder circles. So big, big shoulder circles. Let's go 10 times forward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, yeah. Let's do the other way, 10 big circles back. Alexa, play Monday to Monday playlist. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, let's go ahead, bring those arms forward and back in this horizontal plane. Whew, my shoulders are tight this morning, guys. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go ahead and widen out our feet. Bring our, bring our arms out to the side. Touch opposite foot, opposite foot, bending over at the waist. 10 on each side. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And. 10. Great job, guys. Now we're going to go from our I to our Y to our W to our T. So we want to get this really nice hinge position or like almost like our bent row position. Let's try to keep our upper torsos about 90 degrees. If we can, feel that a hamstring activation. And then I want you to go into your eye. So for your eye, what you're going to do is bring those arms close to your head, pause for a second, and then go into the ski jumper position where your palms are facing up at the back, getting a nice tricep stretch with that. Go ahead and give me 10. So again, my arms are in close to my head and then I'm coming up as high as I can in the back. Three, four, five, Ah, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now we're going to go into our, actually, let's go ahead and skip our Y. I want to do our W's now. So same thing. We're going to go into that hinge position. We're going to bring our elbows in to our, to our elbows and our hands in, and then we're going to Pretend like we're opening up this book that is our arms. And what I'm doing is I'm having my hands come directly in line with my shoulders, squeezing those shoulder blades at the back, maintaining this hinge position. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten then we're going to go into our t's all right so our t's are just directly out from our shoulders so again coming into that hinge position bringing our arms out pause for a moment at the top and back down so what we're trying to do is have those arms come directly out from the shoulders all right three squeeze at the top you're going to feel those shoulder blades engage at the top Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Awesome. Now, we're going to go into our deep squat with hamstring mobility. So I'm going to widen out my feet. I'm going to come into my squat. I am going to rotate. I'm going to rotate. Then I'm going to grab my toes. I'm going to straighten out my legs as much as I possibly can. Get in that nice hamstring stretch. Hold it for a second. Come back down into that deep squat. Rotate. Ooh, got a lot of cracks going on this morning. And straighten. See if you can get a little bit deeper in that hamstring stretch. 
Each time, just let your body hang here for a second. Coming back down, rotate, rotate. Let's do one more. Come down, rotate, rotate, and extend those legs. Woo! Come on up. All right, so as I said, we're gonna be doing an atomic. So we're gonna be doing a 10 minute workout Every minute on the minute, we're gonna be doing a set of three exercises. So what we're gonna do, as far as our warm up is concerned, is we're gonna go through each one of the exercises in both of the different sets that we're gonna do for this. If you want, you can grab a weighted object, you can grab a dumbbell, you can grab a, a kettlebell, but maybe just for the warm up, we do it without weight, just to, get, just to get our bodies warmed up, all right? So let's go ahead and we're gonna start with 10 squats. Okay, let's just do 10 body weight squats. Making sure to widen out those feet, make room for our hips, getting our elbows down on the insides of our thighs, making sure that we're hitting parallel with our legs, if not a little bit deeper at that bottom, squeezing those glutes at the top. Seven, eight, nine and ten now the next exercise that i'm going to give you you can do um, you can do either an inchworm or a single leg walkout so if you're doing an inchworm actually let's just go ahead and do a couple inchworms right now coming down getting those legs straight come here having my shoulders right over my wrists come back in and stand up Come back down, walk it out, come back in, and stand. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of my mat because it's just gonna be in my way. All right. So, if you wanna make this harder, you can do a single leg walkout with hop. So for that, I'm gonna raise up my, one of my legs, I'm gonna come down to the floor, I'm gonna to try to get my knee as close to the floor as possible, coming out into that high plank, come back in, and then I'm gonna hop it up at the top. So let's go ahead and do two on each side to get used to what that feels like, and hop. Switch it out, come down. If you're not doing this and you're still doing the inchworms, that's okay. Go ahead and give me those. I'm trying to keep that knee as low to the ground as possible as I come in and out and then hop fun right so then we have our shin box kick through so i'm coming down to the ground gonna line up my knee to my foot my shin is directly in front of me and then i'm going to keep my upper torso as erect as possible if i need to put my hands behind me that's great but just don't curve over with this Bring that leg forward, have it line up with your belly button, and then bring it back in. So let's go ahead, give me two on each side. Switch it out. Kicking it through. Again, if you need to, put your hands behind you to keep that back upright, that is okay. All right, it's really important that we keep our back straight with that exercise. For the second set of the atomic that we'll do later, we're gonna continue with our squats. But as far as our warm up is concerned, we'll skip those and then we'll go into our cross body mountain climbers. So if you're experiencing any wrist issues, you can prop yourself up on your couch or your, or your coffee table on your forearms and you can do that. Otherwise, let's go ahead and do five on each side of our cross body mountain climbers, trying to get that knee to elbow, keeping those shoulders over those wrists. Five and five, nice. And then we have our X crunches. So coming onto my back, my arms and my legs are gonna be straight. I'm gonna come forward, touch my feet if possible, come back down, come up, 
touch, get that nice stretch at the top, go ahead and give me five of these right now. Three, four, and ha ha, five. Awesome. So those are all the exercises in both of those sets. So let's go ahead and grab some water right now and grab a dumbbell for my squats. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do five squats. And then if you're doing inchworms, you're gonna do four inchworms, or if you're doing a single leg walkout with hop, you're gonna do two on each side. And then we're gonna do two on each side of the shin box kick through, and we'll see where we come in at our minute and see if we need to adjust. If we, do, if we have less than 15 seconds of rest, then we're gonna shave off some reps. If we have more than that, then maybe we'll add some reps. But that's the really nice thing about this atomic is you can adjust it to you, but just make sure you get at least 15 seconds of rest with this, okay? So, we're gonna start our 10 minute circuit, starting in three, two, one, go. Hitting those five squats, making sure to squeeze those glutes up at the top. Three, four, five. Then I'm gonna do a single leg walkout for mine. So I'm gonna do two on each side. Hop, or you can do four inchworms. Hop, switch it out. Hop. Hop, and now I'm gonna go into my shin box. So I'm coming pretty close on time. Two. Switching out to the other side. One. Two. All right, I have three seconds left, so I'm gonna have to shave off something. And what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna shave off one of those single leg walkouts with hop. Three, four, five. All right. Just gonna do one of each. Boom. Out, up. Try not to fall over. Walk it out, walk it up. Hop. Coming into my shin box. Kick through, two on each side. One, two, switch it out. One, two, all right. We got about 14 seconds left of rest. I will, I will take that as a win. Again, if you're doing inchworms, it might be a little bit faster for you. If you're getting too much rest, go ahead and add a rep. One, two, Three, four, five. Nice. Doing my walkout. One, switch it out. Woo! Little party there. Boom. Boom. Love. These shin box kick throughs. Feel like a ninja. All right. Oh, look at that. 17 seconds of rest. Perfect. That's great. All right. Going into it here in five seconds. Getting ready to go again. This is our fourth round. Two. Three, four, five, ha ha. Walking it out, walking it in, hop, switch it out, walking it out, walking it in, hop. Shin box kick through, boom, boom, ha ha. 
Taking it to the other side. Keeping that back straight. Two. Yeah, yeah. 17 seconds rest. Perfect. Perfect. Guys, if you get really gassed with this circuit, take a minute break. Skip one of those sets. That's totally okay. All right? And we're going. Here's our fifth one. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah. Making sure to get my butt about the same level as my shoulders when I'm in that high plank at the top, coming into my shin boxes. Wow. Boom. Boom. Yeah. Wow, 17 seconds. That's amazing. It's amazing. It's like we're machines. So good. All right. We're coming into our sixth set. Ha ha. Three, two, one. Going for it. One. Three, four, oh, five. Ha ha. One. Try to get a really powerful hop out of this at the top. Boom. And we're shin box kicking. Boom. Get that foot in line with that belly button. 15 seconds. Nice. Perfect. If you need to take a break, grab some water. That is totally fine. Going back into this. Three seconds. Woo. Two. Three. Four. Five. Uh, coming out. Come back in. Hop it. Make sure to keep that knee. Get that shock absorber aspect with that knee at the top. Don't keep that knee straight when you're trying to hop on it. Two. Switch it out. One. Ha-ha. Two. All right. 14 seconds left. We're going into our eighth set of our 10 minute circuit here. Two. One. Two. Five. Nice. Coming out, come in, hop, come out, come in, whoo, or inchworms. Both are perfect. Kick it out. Also, if you're getting super tired and your form is wavering, take a break. It's better to take a break than it is to have poopy form on any of these exercises. Yeah? All right, 13 seconds left. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna be going into our ninth. Our ninth set. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Nice. Coming out, coming in, hop, coming out, coming in, and hop. Yeah. All right. Shin box. 
slow and controlled. Full extension of that leg, forward. All right, we've got about 16 seconds left. Nice. And then we're gonna be going into our last set, which is gonna be our best set. Yeah, it is. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, making sure we hit depth. Coming down, forward, hop it up, switch it out. And hop. Shin box, kick through, two, nice, switch it out to the other side, one, two, yeah, all right, we're going to rest for about two minutes, okay, we're going to grab some water <laughs> for a second set of atomics, we're going to do our squats, so See how you felt with that first round. Maybe the weight was a little too heavy. Maybe it was slowing you down too much. You could always shave off a squat. So maybe do four instead of five. You can get heavier with it. You can always do a prisoner squat with your hands behind your head. There's many different variations you can do during this atomic. And then we're gonna be doing our crossbody mountain climbers. So trying to get that knee to that elbow all right, and then we have our X crunches. So, arms and legs are straight, coming forward and back down. All right, so we'll be doing this atomic also for 10 minutes. We're gonna be starting in about 10 seconds. And we're going to get ready with however we're doing our squats. In three, two, one, go. Three, four, and five. Let's try five crossbody mountain climbers on each side. One, two, three. Four, five, X crunch. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. We got about 19 seconds of rest left. I'm going to see how this next set goes. See if I'm still pretty consistent with that time. And then I might add in, I, mean, I think I might add in another squat and see how that works. All right, three, two, one. Two, three, four, five. All right, going into my crossbody mountain climbers. One, two, three, four. Five, making sure to get those shoulders over those wrists. Going into my X crunches. One, two, three. Think about those abs pulling you forward. Four, five. All right, I had 21 seconds of rest left. So I'm definitely gonna add in a squat on my next one. If you want more work, you can add in anything that you want. You can add in an extra squat, an extra crossbody mountain climber, an extra crunch, whichever one you choose. And we're going. Two, three, four, five, and six. Going into my crossbody mountain climbers. Two. Three, four, five. Then my X crunches. One, 
two, three, four, five. All right, got about 19 seconds of rest. I might add in one more X crunch. It's a great thing about this, this circuit. So you get to really dial it. All right, we got about five seconds left. Two, one, here we go. This is our fourth, circ our fourth set. Three, four, five, six. Trying really hard to not lean over in those squats. Trying to stay as upright as we possibly can with that back. Two, three, four, five. X crunch, X force, two, three, four, five, ah, six, nice. All right, 13 seconds of rest. I'll take it, I'll take it. That's gonna be my, that's gonna be my count for the rest of the circuit. All right, three, two, going for it. Six, nice. One, two, three, four, five. Going into my X crunches. One, two, three, four, five, and ha ha, six. Woo! All right, 14 seconds of rest. Great, great. Ha ha. All right, so this is going into our six set one two three get depth four five six Aha. cross body mountain climbers you can always push those shoulders over those wrists Get a little extra mobility in there. X crunch. Two. Use those abs to pull you forward. Three. Try not to throw yourself forward. Use your abs to pull you forward. I might have done a couple extra in there. That's all right. Four, and we're going. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Aha. X crunch. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Nice. Again, guys, you're doing your own rep scheme. We're just doing those three exercises. All right. We're going back into it in four seconds. All right, it's our eighth set. Two, three, oh, four, five, six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Ha ha. X crunch. One. 
two, three, four, five, and six. Yay. All right, 14 seconds left of rest. Then we're going into our ninth set. Almost done, guys, almost done. Hoo, hoo, hoo. All right, getting ready. Here we go. Two, three. Really squeeze those hips up at the top. Four, five, six. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Ha <laughs> ha. X crunch. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, 12 seconds left. Then we're going into our last set. It's gonna be our best set. All right, getting ready for it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha. Love this hip mobility with these crossbody mountain climbers. Four, five. All right. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome, woo! So what we're gonna do is three sets, 10 reps of each of these. We're gonna do hip lifts, penguins, and knee grabs. All right, so I'll go ahead and demo all three of those exercises. Bringing our arms out to the sides, our hip lifts. So I'm keeping my lower back on the ground. I'm gonna bring my feet up, I'm gonna bring my knees to my face all right now if i want to make this a little bit harder i'm going to pike my legs up all right then keep those legs up at the end we're not going to tap this time we're just going to keep them up as we lift up and back down so again you can either bring them to your face or you can pike it up all right and then we have our penguins so feet are in close to my body I'm reaching down one side of my foot, reaching down the other side of my foot. So guys, really think about those obliques. You're crunching the obliques on the one side as you're contracting, and you're really expanding the, the ones on the other side. So get a really good full range of motion with those penguins. And then we have our knee grab with rows. So my knee grabs, my legs are out straight, my arms are in close to my chest. I come out, I'm gonna row it out, come back down. If you want to use a dumbbell or two dumbbells with this to row it out, great. That'll give you some little extra work with it. All right. So we're going to do this three sets, 10 of each, and we're going to start right now. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Four, try to get that lower back on the ground when you come back down. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice. Penguins reaching down the sides of those feet. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Pivoting on those shoulder blades. Knee grab rows. Boom. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ha ha, and ten. Yeah. All right. We are going to start at the beginning again because we're going to do three sets of these. That was our first set. Hip lifts. Arms out to the sides, knees up, pike it up. Two, or just bring your knees to your face. Just don't slam yourself in the head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ha, 10. Penguins, rotating on those shoulder blades, trying to reach as far down those shoes as possible. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Knee grab with rows. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Woo! Guys, oh, we have one more set of each of those exercises. Oh my goodness. We get to do one more set? So we're going to go into our last set. She's gonna be our best set, right? All right, hip lifts. Your last hip lifts of the day. Unless you decide to have a hip lift party later. Ugh. More power to you. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woo, feeling it, nine. 10, penguins, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Beautiful, all right. Got our knee grab with rows. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ah, ten. Yay. But let us not forget our beloved homework. Let's grab some water. All right, guys, Cossack stretch with lunge. Going wide with this, bringing that toe up. We're trying to get this hamstring close to this calf. 10 on each side. Two. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, And, ah, 10, nice. Let's go into our four point hip mobility. So, I'm gonna have my shoulders over my wrists. I'm going to have my knees hover off the ground. My butt is not gonna be in the air. And then I'm gonna kick that knee out to the side. Touch that foot, opposite foot. Taking it slow and controlled. Four, five, 
Keeping those hips stable, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, <laughs> 10. All right, then we're gonna go into our archer planks. Really, really love these. They feel so good. Drawing that hand up along the chest and back down. Keeping those hands underneath those shoulders. Three. Ugh, four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. We did it. Woo! We win. But let's go back to this theme of the story of the day and just what you put your mind to, you're hopefully able to accomplish. You know, just put your mind to rolling out of bed, getting that exercise, getting the workout done first thing. It doesn't have to be this one, it could be something else. Putting that energy, that thought into getting outside, so important. I've been really, really lax on that and I need to really up my outside game. It's super easy just to stay inside and stay really concentrated on these different responsibilities and tasks but it's just as so much a responsibility to get outside and breathe some fresh air, ground ourselves, yeah? So, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within, and uh, we'll be making our team winning challenge announcement at 10 a.m. this morning. I will send out a link to a YouTube video, and uh, we'll get that, we'll get that uh, all figured out. Guys, we do these exercises, we get the gains, our muscles get bigger, my hair gets bigger from the beginning of the circuit to the end of the circuit.